adding audio files to your presentation. Things you will need. You'll need your PowerPoint file, you'll need your audio files, and you'll need an idea of how you want your presentation to run. First of all, here are a few tips on, um, on recording. First of all, record all your audio files in Audacity. It's something which is free and we have here at the university. Um, you should record individual audio files for each slide. So it makes it so much easier to edit your presentation. If you record it all at once, then you'll have to try and cut bits out of it when you save it as a, as a movie. But here we can save individual slides and then you can just change an individual slide if you want to then save it as a presentation. Don't worry about any short pauses or adjustments or any coughs or any little noises or any stutters because uh, it's a natural feel to the whole presentation. And also try and be a bit creative with your presentation. See if you can add some images, see if you can do something nice with it. So, first of all we need to go to the slides that we want to add our audio to. And up on the ribbon you'll see an insert tab. Click on the insert tab and we're looking for audio which should be on the right hand side in the media section and select audio from file. We can then go and have a look for the audio files that we've recorded in Audacity. Choose the file we want to add to the slide and click on the insert button. This will add the file to the page and you'll see like a speaker icon which is the sound icon. Click on this and you'll see a couple of contextual tabs appear up on the ribbon, one for format and one for playback. We want the playback option, the playback tab, and then you'll see some settings that we need to change. First of all, we tick the hide during show option so that our speaker icon doesn't appear during the presentation and we also want our audio to start automatically which means as soon as the slide comes on the audio will start. We do this for each slide on our presentation. For the video you have two choices. You can either get it so that it runs through the slide uh, and you choose when the slides move on, so you click through and you match the movement of the slides to your audio, or you just leave it so that as soon as your audio finishes, the slide automatically moves on to the next slide. So we've added the audio to each of our slides. Now, if we want it so we choose when the slides are going to move on, we want to match our presentation to the audio, we click on the slideshow tab in PowerPoint and we choose rehearse timings. This starts our presentation off and we'll see up in the top left hand corner a timer appear. The number on the left is the, is the time for that slide, the number on the right is the time for the whole presentation itself. So we run through our presentation just matching our audio to the movement of our slides. At the end of our presentation we'll get a a notice saying that the total time for our slides is however long our presentation has taken and asks us if we want to keep our timings. On here we click yes because we want to keep those timings and use them for our, our film file, our movie file. So we've saved our presentation with the audio, we've done all the timings, we're ready now to publish it as a video. All we do is we click on the file tab up in the ribbon and from there we choose the option save and send. This gives us an option to create a video. We click on create a video. We click the create video button and we just leave the settings as default because if we've set timings it will use those timings. If not it will just run through each slide and when it comes to the end of the audio for that slide it will just move it on. If there's no audio for the slide then it will default to a 5 seconds for that slide.